Hey yo, what is good with y'all, motherfuckers? Man? It's your boy, Caps the Go. Minus the cap, cause you know we don't do no motherfucking cap in here, yo. Feel me? And we back at it again with another Naruto video. And I wanted to make a reset video because I realized I never really went into depth about how to actually reset. I kind of just told y'all to do it. So here's my in-depth guide on how to reset. And I kind of went over like how to reset and like the benefits um, of it in other videos and other things you can do with resets and how to be optimal, etc, etc. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check those motherfucking videos out. And leave a like on them if you would, you know what I'm saying, help a nigga out, you feel me? Sub if you enjoy this video, and uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. So before I even get into doing and showing y'all how to do resets, I first have to explain why resets are so fucking good. So if you don't know, there's this thing called damage scaling. Now I've mentioned this like a bunch of times, but I know there's gonna be some dumbass motherfuckers who didn't understand, or there's gonna be some people who haven't watched other videos when I just said, watch other fucking videos, motherfucker. But anyways... If you don't understand or you haven't seen other videos, basically damage scaling is when you do too much in a combo and the more you do in a combo in this game, the less damage you're gonna do. So for instance, if you do something like this, as you can see, the more hits I'm, I'm doing, the less the uh, health is starting to go down. You feel me? Like now you can barely see it like moving too much. I'm doing so many hits. So, what you can do instead of doing all of that bullshit, if you can do something like, yo, guard, stop fucking blocking, bitch. You can do something like this. And then go for a reset. Oh, I forgot it. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me run that back. Let me run that back. Chill on me. Chill on me. Hold on. I'm not a fraud. Trust. There you go. You can go for a reset. And then peep this. If you go for a reset and you reset the damage scaling, look how much damage this does. 31% You feel me? And why this is so important and why this is so good and why you should do this every fucking time you get a hit is because of situations like this. That's what the fuck? Look us up. Oh, that's why. <laughs> why dumb bad. Go to opponent settings, motherfucker. Alright. Oh my god. This damn Stop guarding. There. Yeah. Fuck. Alright. Why this is so good is because if you do something like this. That's not what I'm gonna do. If you do something like this, look how long the subs take to come back. See that? And then look, it takes one, two, three, four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. Oh, this shit's taking that long. Hurry up. About, what was that, like nine, ten seconds, runner? It takes about eight to nine to ten seconds for subs to come back. And into that eight to nine to ten seconds, if you don't have subs at all, then you just get fucking rammed in your fucking booty hole. So you don't want to go for subs for eight to ten seconds, because then you're literally going to get fucked in the anus. So yeah, that is why resetting is so fucking important. Not only do you do a shit ton of damage right away, but it makes it so they have to come back with no subs, and then you get this situation right here. Not only is that a fucked up situation because yes, you can move out of the grab, but then the assist just comes and hits you out of your movement. Or you can jump it, you can jump it, but Minnesota's grab hits pretty high, so jumping isn't a very smart idea. You can also just run up and get pressure. But um, but yeah, that's why resetting is so fucking important. Every character has like their own way to like reset, right? There's like a basic way to reset, and then there's like character specific ways. So for Minato or for most characters, it's like one to two hits and then throw shuriken. And that's like the easiest way to reset. Now there's a problem with this way. If if you do it like this. And you can do it too much, you can get counter. You feel me? It's easily counterable. Now, if you're smart, you can mix in some feints. And you know what I'm saying? Just do some do some shit to kind of throw them off. Or you can just go right into it sometimes. You know, oh my god, the witch guy, you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. But um, yeah. So you can you can do that. Or if you don't want to do that, you don't want to go for the risk. It's a very, very basic way. And it's the same thing, but 
Hold on. Get the fuck back here. Don't worry, take so long. I should have put it on limited. <laughs> but um, there's another basic way to reset. And that's just to do something like that. And then go for grab. Or you can do same thing. Feel me? Now some characters can't combo off their grab like Minotos can. So you just do you just do the same thing. Okay. Look at Oscar's awesome, useless. I'll take it now. Anyways, as I was saying, you just do the same thing, and then you go into your, uh, what is this shit called? Infinite? Yeah. Yeah. Go into that. And then you just fuck some shit up, you know what I'm saying? So that's like the most basic way. There's also this way. You do something like that. Feel me? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the most basic way to do it. So now to the more character specific kind of resets. So if you have a character who can give this little animation right here, as you see like how you can fall down and then you can just throw shuriken to make him restand or stand back up. If you, if you dumbasses don't know what that means. Uh, I hope, Jesus Christ, if you don't know what that means, please go back to elementary school. You're cooked. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, any animation that gives this right here, all you gotta do, oh my god, my PC is fried, Jesus Christ, is just throw kunai and make them stand up, and then you call your assist to make them block just like that, and then reset, and then do it again, and then, you know what I'm saying, you can just, you can just start fucking around, you can start trolling them, Start doing stuff like that, make them make them counter and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a word. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now there's some characters who don't get that kind of animation. You get this kind of ragdoll effect, like with Asuma. Don't worry, I have you covered. If you have a character who does this, or you have to just run up a little bit and then throw shuriken. I kind of fucked up there, but you run up just a little bit, jump up, throw shuriken, and then you can reset them just like that. And just like with the other method. If you don't want to get countered, just call us this. And you can do like something like that, just go for a grab, or whatever. And resetting gets even more fucked up if you play a character like PTS. Oh my, what the fuck was that? I feel like a donkey. But, yeah, if you play characters like uh, PTS Lee, he gets an even fucked up reset off his ult. Cause you can't move, like, as soon as you get up right there, like, it takes a few seconds for your character to start moving. So in those few seconds, you literally cannot dodge this guard break. So let's say you reset, right? Boom, 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 you play 30%, right? And then you wake up, and you gotta hit, get hit with another reset? Bruh. Bruh. Like, that shit gotta get nerfed, I ain't gonna lie to you. And then here's what I was talking about with, like, a, with, like, the Shidori type shit. Just to show y'all an example. And then boom. And uh, yeah. And then there's characters like Miski who can't like get anything off their grab or really get a reset in any way. But that's what the basic reset comes in, you know, you just do something like... Like these. He was blocking there, he would've got guard broken. And then, you know, just going to ult. Or whatever you want to do. But um, yeah. That's pretty much it gonna do for this video. I'm gonna catch y'all motherfuckers in the next one. Peace out.